So, if you hear any squeaking in the background, nor it's my dog playing downstairs. So, I may have uploaded some footage with just some things I'm working on before this video. It might come after this video. I don't know yet. So, if it has, enjoy. If it hasn't, there's a lot of videos coming. And hopefully, I make them all in the amount of time. Uh, I got something today. Uh, I'm really excited about it. I haven't seen this product in a while. Um, but things are finally in the right direction. So without further ado, welcome to the unboxing and overview. Not of my dog squeaking his toy like no freaking tomorrow. Um, but a Verizon 7 2700X with an RGB LED stock cooler. There will not be any performance test yet. I don't even have a motherboard that's coming tomorrow. I have stuff over here to show you guys as well. Uh, a little unboxing and setup as well. So just stay tuned. There should be a lot of unboxing and overviews and all that fun stuff. But stay tuned. There's more stuff coming, but let's open up real quick. And it's not real exciting, but I'm excited. It's not very common. I do this approach where I'm actually behind the camera working with everything, but I kind of want to do it this time. So we got Ryzen 7, the SKU is the 2700X. I want the 2700X because I don't plan on actually doing any manual overclocking for a while, um, because from what I've read, the single core precision boost is great for single threaded apps and it goes to 4.3, which is about the cap of what you'll see. <laughs> and um, that's really all it's important. All core speed, I mean, can hit around four gigahertz on a stock holder, so not really anything to go on about, but very standard, you know, comes in a box. This is actually what I'm really excited about here. So nothing else in here, but let me show you the cooler. This cooler is actually quite good. It's good to about 125 watts is what AMD rates it at, which is quite nice. Um, but this thing is, I'm gonna leave the plastic on the bottom, but look at this thing. So here, let's move the box out of the way here. This is pretty cool. So you can see it has essentially four heat pipes, one, two, three, and four, two on each side. You have an RGB fan. I mean, come on, RGB. I mean, on a stock cooler, uh, you got a four pin PWM and then Oh, wait, I'm going to put this back down there. Sorry about the noise here. You have an RGB cable right here, which is pretty nice. And it looks to be um, RGB to USB as well. So depending on how you want to do it, um, if you have an RGB header or if you have... So this one RGB header looks like, by the way, versus plugging in... A USB here, which you can see that's a standard USB plug. So that's really cool. I spent $300 on a CPU. Uh, obviously, I didn't go Intel. You guys know that while I do recommend Intel in many scenarios, um, personally, it just I just don't see the value in most cases. I do a lot of editing. I do game, uh, but I don't get high refresh rates, so the extra single thread performance just isn't there. But I'm really excited to do this. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, let's kind of wrap it up, I guess. So there you have it, a real quick open unboxing, first look at the Ryzen 5 2700X. There's more content coming. I have monitors. I have a motherboard, a graphics card, a case. I mean, I have quite a bit of overviews to do and everything else is coming tomorrow. So I'm hoping to have everything done uh, and then start getting everything uploaded in a two day cycle. So once you see this video, I'll probably expect a new video every two days for probably a week or two. Ultimately, I have more plans down the road as funds start to come through. I definitely want to do, uh, this is one teaser, but this might take six months to do um, just because of what's out there, funds and everything like that. But I'm going to do a WoW CPU showdown. Uh, it's very highly contested on the um, WoW forums, the gaming and hardware section. And I really want to prove that in most cases, I think Ryzen's a fine pick. I really don't think it's behind Intel as far as people think it is, even in that game. And honestly, I think where it matters and where the slowdowns are at, 
Um, either way would be a good pick. Obviously, Intel still being a better pick, no doubt. But what else am I wait for is Zen 3 versus the new Intel chips that came out. So that might be the holdup as well. So, uh, but thank you guys for tuning in. This is Steve from PC Budget Solutions for now. And I'll see you all later on down the road.